Well, after seeing the uh, beautiful axes that uh, Sophus Danish Flinthead has been posting here recently, I told him that I would post what I have. Um, the first thing you see here is a Danish dagger, and um, both of these pieces are about eight and a half inches long. Now, this Danish dagger. This is one I made back in 2002. A good friend of mine went to Denmark. He gathered some flint. Look how thin this blade is. And uh, he brought me back a couple chunks. Out of one piece I made I made this dagger. And the other piece I made a regular antler handled knife which I no longer have and I wish I did. But as things go, they come and they go sometimes. And uh, it was a beautiful piece of stone just like this. Over here is a eight and a half inch squared section axe. And this was made by an archaeologist uh, named Mike Stafford. I think he lived around Michigan. Look at this look at this job he did on this thing. This thing is huge too. He did a beautiful job on the flaking and bits really really nice on this. And uh, he signed it with a diamond, and if you look closely, that's his name right there. So, um, Sophus, these are my two Danish pieces, both made out of Danish flint, and uh, I hope I get a chance someday to make more things like this. Like I said, I've made this dagger out of Danish flint. I did make one other dagger that was a Type 1. Uh, out of root beer flint and I no longer can find that so I must have bartered it off to somebody but uh, here they are and uh, let me know what you think I think Mike did a great job on that axe and uh, for a first time making a dagger I was pretty happy with this one so here's here's uh, a look at what I've done in Danish flint uh, a while back this was 2002 so Thanks for watching and let me know what you think.